as the world soars forward with light speed innovations. We fall back to the yields of nature for biodegradable and eco friendly raw materials. While countries compete for earth grown bounties, the Philippines stands tall with its very own original plant, the Philippine Abaca. The story of Philippine Abaca dates back to the country's discovery. Famed explorer Ferdinand Magellan first took special interest in Abaca as he noticed the clothing fabric of native Filipinos. Centuries after, in the 1820s, a U.S. Navy lieutenant brought a sample of the fiber to the U.S., thus opening doors for Abaca trade between the Philippines and America. Inevitably, Abaca farming in the Philippines was born. By virtue of the country's equatorial position, the Philippines presents the perfect location since Abaca requires a temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit, a tropical climate, and rich volcanic soils. Dahil po ako nagpapatanong bigya Abaca dahil magayon po digdi ang daga. Buda, digdi kami po nagkuko aki sa pang-uroal daw na pagbuhay ng sakuyang pamilya. So buda sa klima kang panahon bagay digdi ang Abaca. Sa sampulong taong ko na digdi po na pagtanob kan abaka, digdi na po ako nakapa-eskwila kan sa kuyang mga ake. Growing abaka begins with the ideal soil, clay loam and sandy clay loam. Harvesting can be done between 16 to 24 months from planting. Stripping is recommended within a day after toxine. Extracted fibers may be sun-dried, air-dried, or mechanically dried for two to three days before storing. Kung gugustuin ng mga farmers magbaka, abay magandang kinabukasang hinaharap namin. Hindi pa nga kasing laganap ng pagsasaka ng rice ang abaka farming. Kaya masasabi nating nasa abaka ang future ng Philippine agriculture. Philippine abaka, also popularly called Manila hemp, is specially sought for its indigenous characteristics. Considered as the strongest natural fiber, it has the highest tensile strength and longer elongation compared to synthetic fibers. Its non-slipping characteristics is preferred in oil dredging and explorations, navies, and merchant shipping. Kaya nakasisiguro po tayo na ang uh, hibla ng abaka dito sa Bicol, particularly in Catanduanes, sapagkat lahat po ng abaka farmers ay sinusunod ang uh, good farm practices, wildlife protection, soil and water conservation, and uh, integrated pest management. Nakasisiguro tayo na ang hibla ay uh, talagang di kalidad sapagkat sinusunod nila ang panuntunan sa pag-aabaka. Bilang maliit na negosyante sa abaka trading, malaki ang naitutulog dito sa pamilya ko sa pang-araw-araw na pangangailangan. Napakalaki ng demand at mamimiling kumpanya na nangangailangan ng abaka fiber. More than most other plants, abaka is proven as the most versatile and profitable. Our company has been engaging in abaka trading business since 1955. It's a company that engaged in trading while exporting within that time to company like uh, Smith Bell, Caring Company, Conrad, and uh, Colombian Roots, so and so. Abaca and Abaca product has been exported to USA. Europe, U, UE, European country, Japan, and uh, recently China has uh, demand, and uh, even uh, Spain and Turkey 
currently the pulping capacity in the Philippines is uh, more than enough for the existing market. But the problem is that uh, really is the raw material, shortage of raw material. The demand is still, uh, still there. So I think uh, this is a, uh, one agricultural product which uh, has a very stable and uh, potential for expansion. Beyond its raw material applications, abaca is now utilized in various industrial needs. No other country is capable of supplying nearly 90% of the world's abaca requirements. 49 provinces in the Philippines grow abaca. At present, there are close to 180,000 hectares of abaca farmlands across the Philippines. Currently, the Philippine Fiber Industry Development Authority is responsible for the development of the fiber crops, not only abaca, sisal, or cotton, but there are other uh, fiber crops in the Philippines. We are still the number one uh, producer and supplier of abaca worldwide. High demand in the global market, uh, we really have to uh, fast track the planting of abaca, especially we targeted uh, within two to four years of around 200,000 hectares, which is enough for the manufacturers to supply the global market. We have a, an ambitious plan to embark the rapid rehabilitation and expansion of abaca plantation next year because uh, the current situation, abaca is planted only wild in the uplands, in the mountainous areas, but there are still very huge hectares in the lowland areas that are suitable for abaca planting. With the current administration, we want to plant abaca in the mid mountainous areas or in the lowlands. With the advent of technologies, there are some innovations and breakthroughs that we discovered that abaca can be planted anywhere in the country. As long as the temperature is suitable and even the soil. Our production capacity for last year was uh, almost 70,000 metric tons. And these manufacturers, our partners also, are clamoring that we still need more abaca. They said we need abaca right now, not tomorrow. Abaca lang ang tunay na natatanging Filipino farm produce. Ang abaca parang ginto sa amin. Abaca industry is here to stay. 